right time to hit the gym. It's Friday, it's a jazz day. So that's always good. Fresh one always smells so good. So I'm gonna have one scoop of this pre-workout, the pre-workout plus from my protein and a scoop of the pump. This is probably my favorite product because man after I use a scoop of this I always have a huge pump and we all know that the pump is one of the best feelings in the world. So I'm gonna have this on the way to the gym. It's a five to 10 minute drive. So usually I'll just sit in the car for a couple of minutes and motivate myself a little bit, drink the pre workout, and then hit the weights hard. So I guess I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, today it's a push day. So we got chest, a little bit of shoulders, triceps. I'm gonna focus more on chest because my shoulders are pretty well developed and I just wanna focus more on my chest, especially upper chest. So that's why we're gonna start with a dumbbell press. We're gonna do a, like a low incline. I don't know if you can hear me. Music is pretty loud, Music is pretty loud and they're boxing over there. But, uh, starting with a low incline, not going too high on the incline because otherwise I feel that I have more frontal activation, so that's why I keep it on a low incline. And yeah, just gonna do a couple of warming up sets and then slowly increase the weight. my press you can see that I keep my hands more neutral like this not really flare them out I can keep my elbows close to my body and really push from my chest when you do this you really get a lot of frontal activation and that's what you don't want you want to minimize the frontal activation and really try pushing the weight up with your chest Now we're gonna do the depth for the lower part of the chest. 
gonna do maybe a couple of fly movements and yeah just sticking to the basics man tricep because my chest is just burned out and that's why you want to focus on keeping your elbows in really pushing same thing as sweaty dumbbell dumbbell press just want to keep your elbows in and really push with your chest don't do this because you're going to put a lot of stress on your front out and your triceps it's just you don't want to injure yourself because you're going to be out of the gym for a couple of weeks and lose all your progress so Gotta lift smart, you know. You don't need to go extremely heavy, do one rep maxes, stuff like that, you know. Just stick to to a decent weight. Stick to the hypertrophy range. For me, that's let's say eight to 15 reps. That's usually my rep range, my go-to rep range. But when I stick to that rep range, I can go pretty heavy, heavy enough to build muscle at least, and not injure myself. That's it. Keeping the, the intensity high, not taking too much rest between sets. to have a better range of motion so when you come down it's basically a smith machine so you can easily just grab the weight and do your exercise and then re-rack the weight so it's easy you don't need a spotter for this one because if you can't get the weight up you just click the weight back and you're safe so yeah definitely one of the best machines i've ever done for chest and as you can see what i mean with the gap when you come down, normally with a straight bar, you can come down to to here, maybe here, yeah. But with this one, you can really go for that full stretch, you see, and then push the weight up. So with this one, I don't go like too happy because I really want to focus on that full stretch.
That was a session. That's a pretty good one. Bump was pretty good. Now we're going back home and I'm gonna tell you a bit more about the split that I'm doing currently. As you maybe know, I'm following a push pull leg split that I got from my coach. So yeah, music gets too loud there, so I can't really explain it right now. I'll see you guys back at home. Right, back home. It was a good session. Definitely a good way to start the weekend. So basically the split that I'm following right now that I got from my coach is a push-pull leg split. Well, a legs push-pull split. So we're starting the week on Monday with a leg day. Then we got a push day, pull day, legs, push, pull. And then a rest day. So six days on, one day off. And to be honest, I like this split because I used to do like maybe some kind of bro split. I don't know, it was like a combination of a push pull leg split, but I had a separate shoulder day and sometimes I had a separate arm day, you know. I was just doing what, what felt best for me. But now that I'm really focusing on this split that I got from my coach, I'm definitely seeing improvements, especially in my weaker body parts because uh, one thing that I want to bring up is my, my upper chest because I haven't really been focusing on that. Um, and yeah, just a couple of things that I'm doing different right now. Uh, for example, I'm hitting my side delts three times a week right now. It used to be two times a week, but now three times a week. So I'm doing this on my push days, obviously. And I'm also doing a couple of sets of side raises on my second leg day of the week. So that's on Thursday. Yeah, it was yesterday. So yeah, three times a week for side delts. I mean, it's a small, just a small muscle part, so it can have some, some volume, you know, and because I'm doing it three times a week, I don't need to like destroy them on those two push days. So I can go, well, not easy, of course, I'm training hard, but I don't need to do like two or three exercises only for side delts. Oh, and also the leg days are definitely killing me because the second leg day, when, when the time is to do the second leg workout of the week, my legs are still sore. Well, not, not super sore, you know, but I can still feel it. But it's not that I'm doing too much volume because, well, I'm not doing like six or seven exercises for legs, just, just four exercises and some calves, but really, really focusing on um, making sure that I progressive overload on the exercises that I'm doing. But yeah, that is basically the split that I'm following right now. The split that I've been following for the last couple of weeks, I think I've been working with my coach now for maybe six, almost seven weeks. And another thing is that the end of this month, I'm going to start my prep officially. So I've been looking for some shows end of this year, maybe yeah, after summer is the best. Now with the whole situation going on, I don't know if the shows are going to be canceled that are now in the summer. So just to be sure, I want to pick one that is at the end of the year and I think there will be a show at the end of September so yeah that means prep is going to start soon officially it's gonna be my first official prep my first show also so I'm really curious how that is going to be but as you guys know me I'm in for a challenge and I'm always I'm always striving to be the best version of myself and I've never been like really competition shredded, you know, like stage shredded. I've been lean and shredded for photo shoots and stuff like that, but not like stage shredded and working with peak weeks and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to it. But yeah, that is pretty much what I'm doing right now, what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks and just until it doesn't work anymore. But yeah, that is the split that I'm doing right now. It was a good push workout, some chest, some side outs, some triceps. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do so. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've seen that a lot of people that are watching my channel are not subscribed yet. So yeah, it really helps me out. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.